again, though I may not be a professional film critic, I do love giving my unsolicited opinions on horror films. Today I'm going to be talking about the 1980 film, The Changeling. This film is directed by Peter Medek and stars George C. Scott and Trish Vanderveer. So let's dive right in. I can't believe I have slept on this film for my whole life. This is right up my alley. I love ghost stories. This movie's awesome. It absolutely holds up today. I think it's incredibly creepy. It's got a great plot, lots of twists. The photography in this movie I thought was breathtaking. There's beautiful scope shots and the way that they filmed and lit the inside of the antique house. It really comes to life and it just, it's a beautiful film. It's about this guy John Russell who had just lost his wife and child and now he's trying to move on with his life. He goes back to teaching music at a university and he's looking for a place to stay while he's doing that. I have a friend who works for the Historical Preservation Society. They have some old houses that I'm sure they rent. We'll see what we can come up with for you. The Historical preserve. Yeah, that's haunted. Oh, there's some pieces here that are just stored. You'd have your pick of them. Do you want ghosts? This is how you get ghosts. So as John is living in this place while trying to focus on music, focus on his career, weird things start to happen. And there's this loud banging that's always happening at night. And when he brings it up to the caretaker of the estate, the excuse is... It's an old house. It makes noises. Anytime someone tells you that the house is old or settling, time to get the hell out. And there's this little ball. You see it move around. You see it rolling down the stairs. It's so simple. You don't need a bunch of CGI. I think it's even more convincing, to be honest, having these real everyday objects suddenly given a life of their own. I'm imagining just in my own apartment the most innocuous items that could come to life. But John isn't exactly reacting to all of these things as maybe most of us would. In fact, at this one part, he sees a child in the bathtub that he didn't fill, but suddenly there's water in it, there's this child under the water, and he has the calmest kind of, oh, okay. Another ghost kid in the bathtub sounds like another Tuesday for John. If you had a checklist for all the things that should go into your perfect haunting type movie, this checks it all. We've got this awesome psychic who never blinks once, all Hannibal Lecter-like doing her seance. We've got microfiche action. You've got investigations of the ghost hauntings, the plot twists, what's going on, moving objects, creepy disembodied child voices. And of course, a POV cam. Yeah, you can't do a ghost movie without a POV cam. The thing that I really enjoy about uh, the characters in this, John and Claire, they're very likable people. As they're unraveling this mystery, I find myself really rooting for them. John is the ultimate dad. He sees something wrong, he hears a child in trouble, even if this child has been dead for who knows how long, he's ready to come to the rescue. But let's talk about how creepy and scary this movie is. It was made, uh, wow, that was 40 years ago? Oh my god, it's already 2020. It was made 40 years ago and this movie totally holds up today. There's this magic with the sound design, the way the camera moves, you just, you really feel like you're in this house and you're experiencing this. I just, the atmosphere is absolutely amazing. It's creepy, it's beautiful. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, this is instantly one of my favorite films. It's gonna be on at least a couple of my top 10 lists. So I'm giving The Changeling a 4.5. I mean, if you love a good haunting story, a good ghost story, I absolutely recommend this film. I believe I saw it on Shudder. And yeah, I just, I, I'm so bummed that I didn't see this earlier and yet it was really exciting to get to see it for the first time. So hey, if you dug this video, if you agreed with me, if you don't agree with me, if you haven't even seen The Changeling, well, first of all, go see The Changeling. And then hit me up. You can leave comments on my YouTube, my website. I am on Instagram. You can find me at The Creep Teak. And my website, www.thecreepteak.com. 
like, subscribe, all the things. I would love to hear from you guys. What other movies would you like to see me do, whether I've already seen them or not? Throw them at me, let's have it, let's have a great film discussion. And remember, just because Halloween is over doesn't mean you can't be creepy year-round. Until next time.